Hello everyone and welcome back to Lumpia Crafts. My name is Unlimited Lumpia. Sorry again for not being able to record a full-length episode last time. Today I'm feeling better. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a lot more energetic. I also had a cup of coffee today, so woo, I'm I'm good. I'm good. So I noticed I was walking around randomly in my base the other day, and um one of my guardians, I believe it's Luigi, uh he he is no longer with us. He disappeared. He's he's gone. Um, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Voxel Craze has been having a similar problem with her monsters disappearing randomly too, so I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping that they fix that in the, the next update for Minecraft. That's gonna be a problem. I mean, it, it took a really long time to get the, to get the Guardians down here. I mean, it took all three of us to get both Mario and Luigi from the Ocean Monument and into Triforce. So that kind of sucks. But now that we have a portal from the Ocean Monument to our base here, maybe it'll be easier to get another guardian to replace him um, to and from. Oh, geez, hello. What the frick? Where did where did these guys come from? <laughs> aye, aye. Scare the crap out of me, why don't you? These guys are friendly, right? Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but maybe, uh, maybe now that this really awesome path is done, we can, um, hello chickens, hello chickens, uh, we can get a replacement and it should be, should be just fine. So today, what I want to do is I want to work on this pathway here to our skeleton farm. Right now it's just a tunnel that I hastily dug underground that leads straight to there, but I want to add a track just so you don't have to be running back and forth all the time. Um, and I think, you know, it'll be it'll be super useful for all three of us, really. I'm thinking I'll have a station here where you can disembark, kind of have the track running alongside of the pathway here. I want to keep this open, though, because it might be nice to have a path for donkeys to go back and forth, so you have the option of carrying more inventory if you decide you want to do that. So I, let me go ahead and go over to... Voxel Craze's base. I want to take a look at how she set up her minecart track and uh, see if we can't figure out oof, ow, how to duplicate that for our track. All right, so here we are. So you've got a dispenser here with a cactus and some item hoppers underneath this track. This button dispenses the, the minecart. And then you kind of just go forward from there. That's pretty simple. Oop. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. That that should be easy. I'll have yeah, cactus, dispenser, hoppers, track, and a button. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's uh, let's design that, shall we? Okay. Do I want to know what's going on back there? Pretty sure Triple Red Shell is up to something back there. Um, I'll check that out in a bit. So here we are in our tunnel entrance. Let's dig out this area right here so we can put our minecart dispenser here. All right, so the dispenser will be right here, I think. I guess the cactus can be here. Yeah, I hope there isn't like a set distance that this has to be so it will work correctly. But that seems that seems about okay, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's get materials and uh, set this up. Okay, so got the stuff. So the dispenser goes up here. Hmm, how's that gonna work? Do I need like a, do I need a dropper or something? Is that what I have to do? Hmm. Well, all right, well, let's figure this out first. So you got the sand here, and then a cactus. Put a block on top, that's easy. Yeah, would I need like a dispenser or a dropper that, that goes upwards? Maybe. All right, back to Val's base. All right, Val, how did you do this? I don't break anything, wish me luck. Okay, there's a it's a hopper that goes down to there. That's easy enough. 
and is there anything behind it? Dropper with a slime ball and some rails. That's interesting. But is there is there like a redstone mechanism that I'm missing? How does it how does it Oh I see. Oh that's easy. Just a redstone dust. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Problem solved. Alright, so guess you put a dropper up there. I need to put a button somewhere, so I'm thinking it should be the button, the button, the button. Where should I put you, button? I think there would be the best place to put it. I can always change it. So you put a redstone dust right there, a block right here, and I'll just put a wooden button because that's all I have. Cool. All right, and then track, track, and uh, <clears throat> track, track. I believe what you do is you make a track there and like that. So when you return, it goes down. But what I think we should try first is, so there's two there. You press it, oh. and there's two again. Okay, yeah, hey, it works. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Now let's bring this over. And we'll widen this and then just bring the track all the way down and over to the skeleton farm here. Okay, that's not bad. So let's. This will be probably where the line will stop, at least for now, and then maybe we can extend it if need be. Alright, so let's do the same thing that we did on the other side. So you want a dropper here, then a dispenser here. I'll need to make some hoppers too, but whatevs. Hopper, hopper, hopper. This will be sand. Sand. Make some room here. Cactus. Then a redstone here. And then we make a button there. There we go. There, there. And there, like that, like that, and like that. Huzzah, hooray. I'm going to put these tracks down, and then I'm going to figure out how many power tracks I need to put down. Oh, there we go. For this to, for this to function properly. Now, do I remember how to do power tracks? Uh, it's not with gold, is it? How do you do... Hmm. How do you do power track? <laughs> Is it with gold? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out real quick. One second. Oh, it's gold and redstone. Okay, okay. So I think 24 of these will be enough to get this whole thing going. All right, that should power it. Yep. Actually, it should power this one too. Uh huh. Huzzah! All right, so. We're all wired up and ready to go. Okay, so we are here. Let's press the button, hop on, and go. Whoop. So far so good it looks like. Good. Now let's go this way. Now what's most important is if I if I can get up the slope without slowing down and falling backwards. That's what that's what I need to test for. There you go. Huzzah, hooray. That that's exciting. Now I have a nice little quick way to get back and forth and you don't have to like worry about where you're going you just you just hop on a minecart and just go i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to decorate the walls and stuff 
make it look a little bit more presentable. Probably gonna change up the design from the design that Triple Red Shell did. Although I might widen this pathway to a five wide path, kind of like how this this is set up, just to just to make that consistent. This will still be a three by three, I think, just because you know it's a little sub branch. But this will be a five wide path, and um, you know that's gonna take that's gonna take some time. So I'm gonna do that off camera and. Uh, Figure, figure that out. All right, so I am back. Ow. Changed a bunch of stuff here. Went ahead and decorated this entire hallway. Looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I did, I did lots and lots of stuff. Let me, let me walk you through everything that I've done here. Right here, we have the entrance of the pathway to the skeleton farm. As you can see here, I modeled it after the botanical garden entrance. It has the same gate-like thing that I put over here and uh, sand, made out of sandstone, so yeah, it's kind of like a miniature version. I sculpted a little bit of the sides here. I, I made it so that it stood out a little bit more so people know that you can actually go down here and this leads to somewhere. Uh, made the floor out of jungle wood again to match the, the botanical garden and this pathway here. And I put lights down onto the floor, so these lamps here, and decorated the minecart contraption that leads down there. As you can see, it's kind of dark in this middle here, and I kind of like how that looks. You know, you kind of are going down into the depths of the underground. Um, <laughs> looks cool, but also I uh, didn't know exactly how to decorate the the stairwell here, so the darkness kind of makes it look interesting, even though it's pretty repetitive. <laughs> uh, and so now we're here. What I decided to do was build, again, modeled after the botanical garden, these pillars of sandstone with these spruce wood fences with leaves on the other side. It adds nice color into this hallway that is better than just the browns and yellows and all that stuff that we have without the leaves. And then on the other side, I did the same thing. You can see here that I have the tracks in front of the leaves, but you still get kind of the same effect with the leaves on either side. I didn't have enough time to work on this over here. And to be honest, I don't exactly have a design in mind yet anyway. So basically my focus was this right here. I think we're making some pretty good progress. I know that Voxel Craze also has been working on some tunnels and pathways in the nether specifically. So she's uh, she's probably got a lot more done than I did. She just builds and builds and builds and me I kind of take my time when I build. So <laughs> this is this is a pretty small stretch compared to I'm sure what Voxel Craze is doing in the Nether, but proud of what I did regardless. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop open a minecart, and as you can see, the lamp kind of turns on and off there just to show that oh it works. Um, oh, and this this fence actually keeps the mobs out in case you know the mobs decide to wander down into the track. You don't get a nasty surprise when you go downstairs. Um, so yeah, let's go forward. So I decorated this, kind of separated it from the main pathway, which I kind of like. This still needs to be decorated here. Um, but I, I, like I said before, I want this to be kind of separated so that, you know, uh, in the main pathway, as we approach the, the stop here, yep, the main pathway you can kind of still use as a pedestrian path. Also, if you have horses and stuff, you can go this way without, you know, running into minecarts and everything like that. But yeah, I mean, I feel like in real life, you have the train tracks kind of separated from the pedestrians anyway, you know, safety and everything like that. So, but yeah, so that, that, that's what I've done. I think, it, I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So on my list of things to do, I have to work on this tunnel to the skeleton farm. I have to work on the actual skeleton farm. Um, I have to go and to make myself a house in my base. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically what I need to be doing in the next in the next couple episodes, I think. There are a couple other long-term things that I want to I want to take care of, but uh, oh, <laughs> specifically the let me go this way. In the Nether I go. But yeah, specifically, I want to finish this Nether hub. I feel badly that Voxel Craze has been doing this all by her lonesome guardian farm that way. So I'll take it upon myself to finish this purple purple glass dome that we that we have going on. That's another long-term project that I need to do. Cool. Well, if you like the tunnel that I'm working on, please give it a like. Looks like both Voxel Craze and I are working on tunnels and Triple Red Shell too. He's working on tunnel as well. Give it a like if you like it. Subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't subscribed already. 
see the thrilling conclusion of this tunnel that we're working on. It's um, very exciting. <laughs> I think it's exciting anyway. Be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter. Keep up to date with all the live streams and stuff that we'll be doing in the future. And yeah, oh my, my armor is really ugly. Um, Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my name is Unlimited Lumpia. This has been Lumpia Craft, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.